Welcome to my double sleeved deck tech featuring Ascent Evan Carr. Now, what got me into building this deck was the fact that I love this creature. Other black creatures get plus one, plus one. Non black creatures, minus one, minus one. The Evan Carr Wrath. Uh, this is Krovax. It's very important to the invasion. And. I found out that there's this classic 6th edition uh, Gata version, Japanese, came in a magazine in 2000. So with that in mind, I decided to build the most unique deck that I could. And with that, I decided on an Artist Proof deck. Now an Artist Proof is a card given to an artist whenever one of their cards are printed. It's a legit magic card that will <coughs> it will pass any kind of inspection that you do on the front. So that's good to know. Okay. The downside is they're not tournament tournament legal or playable because they don't have a standard magic backing. But we'll find out what they can do with these kinds of spaces. Okay, so With that, let's go through. I do have to talk about two unique cards. What happens is if the card is a flip card, it has a blank back, which means that there's two copies of the card, the front half and the back half. All right, so Victor Adam Mingus drew this card, so I had to buy two copies of this card the front and the back. Okay, so obviously this is the back side. Same with uh, Darkin's uh, Argyll's blood, blood Fast. Okay, so the back half. And as you can see, this side was blank, but Darkin drew or sketched on it, making this technically a one of a kind since nobody else will have the same exact sketch. So these two cards are also unique. Now let's move on to Planeswalkers. Okay, we have Liliana, Dreadhorde General, a very powerful Planeswalker. And in Commander, that's kind of what you need. Also, the availability of getting these cards can be very tricky. Therefore, sometimes you just pick up what you can if you're making a deck like this. Okay. Now, Soren Markov, in the story, had to kill Avicen, the angel that he created. So, Kieran Yanner drew Avicen on the back of this card at my request. I don't often request certain drawings, but when it came to that one, I felt that was very fitting. Okay, so we have the Grey Merchant. Or Gary, Sean, Scott Murphy, sorry, Scott Murphy drew a closer view of him. Okay, Alan Pollock with Dune Rider Outlaw. Nice little monster there. Wasteland Scorpion by Young Hao Han. Han. Okay, a little TIE Fighter. Jacob Casper. Nice close up of the demon. Okay, I love Bantu. So you'll see that as another theme going on. God Eternal Bantu. This is the San Diego Comic Con from Adam Paquette. And no surprise, it's a close up of the God Eternal. Okay, another one from Alan. Leaden Mirror. Okay, Lucas Grashinio. I am really bad with names, by the way. Willemog's Crusher. Drew a nice big Eldrazi Titan there for me. Okay, Melissa Benson. This was one of my, my first major ones that I got. Nightmare. 
classic Magic the Gathering card with a nice blown up picture of the Nightmare. Many young Magic players dream black card along with Sanger Vampire from Anson Maddox. And on the other side, we have a very bloodthirsty demon, okay, from Scott Murphy, everybody's favorite opposition agent. And she looks very beautiful on the other side. Okay, Mark Zug. Now, from here on, they're not going to have sketches in the back, either due to pricing or because they can get expensive. Or, like Mark Zug doesn't actually provide uh, sketching or paintings anymore. Okay, so we got Marilyn of the Mo Mourn Song. We got Gaunty. Liliana Shade, Rezaketh, Mike, yep, we got Mike the Unhallowed, Massacre Girl, Corrosive Mentor, Whisper, Midnight Banishy, Grave Digger, I really like this one from Portal. He actually almost looks like an insect instead of a zombie back when they were just summoned creatures. Well, Portal had summoned creature. Um, Non-Portal sets had a type to go with it. Okay, Royal Assassin. That's another card from my youth. Ravenous Chupacabra. We got Filth. We got the Secret Lair Pack Rat from Fiona Ish. Okay, from where Wayne Reynolds, we got a nice little ink eyes. We got a Dorothy Trapper, a Demon of Dark Schemes. And from Mark Winters, we have a beautiful Yogmoth Thran Physician. Okay, so that's the creature side. Next, we have a few spells. Okay, classic black card, Dark Ritual. Okay, uh, this Bantu's Last Reckoning, um, I traded uh, Victor an LED for it, and no matter how much it increases in price, I think I came out ahead. This is one of my favorite cards of magic in the, the current era, and look at that amazing work that he did in such a small space can't believe that I get to own this card. Okay, Never Return is blank, and Battle at the Bridge, also blank. Okay, Dark Bargain. Uh, the art on this, I actually just love Akura. Uh, it's such a fun plane. Okay, so we have Kelson the Plague. Right here, so Scott Murphy knocked it out of the park again. Okay, Eric Dischamps with Fatal Push. And then these ones do not have artwork on the back, so Imp's Mischief, Drag to the Underworld, and Hag Hagra Molly. Okay, and as I said before, it's blank, which is why I have the other half over here. Next, we move on to artifacts. Okay, we have a nice sorceress spyglass, Aaron Miller, with his rainbow signature. Okay, drew a nice colorful interpretation of the art. Okay, Titus Linter, an amazing artist, an amazing person to deal with. Okay, this one he kind of drew it upside down, but that's okay. Okay, so Netherborn Altar with a swamp theme. I'll keep it there. Okay, Eldrazi Monument from the Secret Lair from Cosmin Podar. Okay, this is a 
Phryorexian monument is what I had asked for to go with it. So since my deck was based around the I'll draw um, based around the Evancar of Wrath, I had asked for so this comes from a card that I forget the name of, uh Phyrexian Processor, I believe, from the Urza's block. Okay. Danny Pendergast made this this beautiful dragon clutching uh, the arcane signet. I actually have two of them. The other one is a pink one and they kind of mirror each other. Okay, um, Eric Dischamps was out of the other side of Elbrus, the Binding Blade. So I had him draw the demon on the other side. I requested that. Amy Weber, uh, she has an eBay store where you can get lots of these from her. Um, so I believe this one is Italian. Uh, and the bone crank lives on. Okay, and then the rest are blank. So we got the Immortal Sun, Ugin's Nexus, Maze Mind Tome, Endless Atlas, Predator Flagship, because what is an Evan Carr without his flagship? Black Man and Battery, Soul Ring, um, this is the promo one that they gave out with Commander. Uh, this one cost, yeah, sort of sinew and steel. Black Blade Reforged, one of my favorite equipments. A Hero's Blade. The Sword of Light and Shadow. The Disc. A Sword of Feast and Famine. And an Amulet of Krug, which is somewhere that we just uh, started going back to. Um, okay, next up, enchantments. Okay, so we have an unholy strength from Douglas Schuler, and he drew one of my favorite cards, Hypnotic Spectre. Gates to Phyrexia, Revel and Riches. Animate Dead, Marchesa's Decree, and the other side of the Bloodfest. And last but not least, we have Lands. Okay, we have a Spawning Pool from Nilla's Ham with a Godzilla on it, or a Swamp Creature, which looks like it. Alan Pollock drew this little creature. Uh, this is Elenia Danner through this beautiful tree. Um, once again, from one of my favorite sets, I love the art on both sides. I love these crystals that are throughout the entire set. Okay, Alan Pollock, another dragon or a demon, a swamp from Titus with more swamp on it. Okay, a Phyrexian Swamp from a Jumpstart, which I think is really cool because uh, most likely won't see him as regular looking basics again. And he did this amazing, um, I had requested this, Ascendant Evancar of his own. Okay, another one from Miss Danner. And it's the Jeweled Lotus, which he's very, very famous for. Adam Pac Paquette again with a strip mine from uh, Zendikar, the expedition. Very beautiful. Another one from the Stanner. I don't often try to get so many from the same artists, but I couldn't help myself after I saw the first one from her. Okay. Lucas. Grosino. A Godzilla on a Godzilla Secret Lair. And I believe from here on out, they're just various swamps from as many artists as I can get. 
even though Titus does keep showing up. Sam Burley, Mark Zug. Okay, Vajuka Bog. A Castle Lockwain, Wayne, because why not? Throne of the High Castle, or the High City. An Ice Flow that I got from a Kickstarter from John Avon. I'm glad uh, I got this before I even knew what an artist proof really was. And I held on to it in my binder. Okay, we got a ghost quarter from Peter Moore Botcher. Okay. Forge of Heroes, Scavenger Grounds from Stephen Howard Leon. Lion with the Fabled Passage, some swamps. Sam Burley, Allen, Mark Zug. I try not to get too many of them from the same artist, leaving them from other people, like uh, this one's from Stephen Thalden. Ben Chinook with his amazing uh, uh, vaporware looking uh, swamp. And then Brian Byron Wax is it? I'm sorry, I'm gonna not even, with an original Urborg. So this one might not turn all of your swamps or all your lands into swamps, but it can remove first strike or swamp walk. And the art just looks amazing. So thank you for taking this little journey. And if you have any questions or comments about artist proofs, go ahead and leave a little comment or hit me up on social media. It's a topic that I love to talk about.